so next aspect is one of the most important is suctioning suctioning we are not uh, suctioning uh, the patient's lungs or uh, uh, the airways it is mostly suctioning is done to clear the tracheostomy tube and keep it patent so very deep suction should not be done so uh, so what uh, what happens if the suction is very deep then it is going to injure the mucosa causing a lot of uh, bleeding uh, infection and even mucosal injuries so uh, we have to make sure like suction is adequate and only if needed so how do we decide on uh, how to suction the patient okay so what catheter we use like if the tube size is 8 so tube size into 3 divided by 2 is usually the formula so if the tube size is 8 then um, it's 24 by 2 and 12 size catheter can be used so how to suction uh, the tracheostomy tube like it shouldn't be going very deep we need to know the tracheostomy uh, uh, level or the length so that we don't go too deep uh, and suction and cause injury to the tracheal mucosa so under all sterile precautions as usual the tracheostomy uh, tip is uh, tracheostomy tube is open before suctioning the patient needs to be pre oxygenated given a good amount of oxygen uh, we must make sure that we are we have not uh, shortly nebulized the patient in fact suctioning is better if we uh, do it before nebulizing a patient so that the drugs doesn't come out uh, and it is no use nebulizing um, suctioning a patient after nebulizing so uh, pre oxygenate the patient make sure uh, airway everything is uh, ready airway management devices okay so oxygenation we make sure that the patient is not having any arrhythmia or patient is not already uncomfortable okay so we explain the patient if the patient is conscious that is very very important uh, so we use appropriate size suction catheter uh, we don't uh, touch the tip so uh, slightly with all sterile precautions it is passed into the tracheostomy tube we just give a we just start suction once the tracheostomy tube is inside okay so then it in three seconds it's a good uh, tracheostomy uh, suction is done and the tube is slightly rotated and slowly pulled outside okay I, if needed it is better to use a gel uh, before putting in a tracheostomy suction tube so next comes the care of inner cannula so when the suctioning is done uh, we remove the inner cannula we keep it aside do a good suction and uh, we make sure uh, we need to report the secretion if the secretion is thick if the secretion is uh, mucoid or purulent we need to be uh, documenting each if the suction is adequate then uh, it is good but it needs to be uh, documented like if the pa patient is having uh, increased number of uh, uh, the frequency is increasing uh, means the suction frequency is increasing we need to make sure the uh, suction uh, secretions are uh, not thick if does the patient need humidification these are the things we need to be evaluating during the suction okay so there is also uh, inner cannula which needs to be taken care of it is removed and clean how how common how often we need to do that if the secretions are more even uh, two uh, to four hourly we need to do that every second and fourth hour okay there needs to be a chart made how many times we need to be uh, taking off the inner cannula and cleaning it so once the inner cannula is taken there are actually two inner cannulas available for each tracheostomy tube better to keep a spare so um, till the catheter uh, till the cannula is cleared after the suction a new inner cannula is placed and the old inner cannula needs to be cleaned with good sterile water and a cleaning brush or a pipe cleaner sometimes it needs to be soaked for some time because if the secretion had been tenacious it is sticking then it needs to be cleaned with hydrogen peroxide uh, it is not very common uh, if we use a cleaning brush and sterile water it is enough so this is how we do uh, the cleaning of the inner cannula so okay so uh, outer tube uh, shouldn't be changed for the first seven days that's what uh, we were uh, discussing during the initial uh, session of the talk so uh, after at least 72 hours we have to be very very careful and uh, why do we need to change the tracheostomy tube uh, how often do we change the tracheostomy tube so if the tracheostomy tube is there for almost like uh, uh, more than a month in pvc tubes the ends uh, will get a little bit serrated uh, the pvc tube can get stiffened uh, so it can cause more discomfort to the patient that time we need to be changing the tube or if we are downsizing which we will be talking in certain uh, time that is the tracheostomy progression so the, those times are times when we need to do the changing in tracheostomy changing of the tracheostomy tube so 
how do we change it so we keep always emergency uh, intubation tray airway tray ready okay and uh, the patient needs to be fasting for at least 4 to 6 hours uh, we don't need to give a sedation uh, we just explain the patient um, if the patient is cooperative then uh, we need to tell about each step uh, like each step get their consent and uh, we will uh, just keep the emergency equipment ready okay then how do we do that is we remove the old we put in a some thing like a guide uh, tube it might be a suction tube uh, so guide tube is there through the old tube and we uh, remove the old tube and railroad the new tube and secure the tube and we reassess the position so this is how we do it so a red rubber catheter or a suction catheter can be put in okay so we check the new tube this is a new tube we check the patency we make sure the cuff is working well and we deflate keep it ready then the old tracheostomy tube is there we place in a suction catheter we just keep it as a guide wire later we take off the old tube and uh, the suction tube will be there it will be like maintaining as a guide wire there should be some gel put in before we uh, uh, pass in the suction tube to prevent much of a cough uh, because that uh, uh, expulsive coughing or uh, violent coughing can dislodge the tube and cause in uh, false track and uh, it can even hamper our uh, tube change so here the new tube is railroaded on the old uh, on the uh, suction tube after the old tube is taken off this is how we change the tube okay